Arrived at early night, glad to be over the reef, touching land. Birds floating to our hands, surmounted to low hills. A cloverleaf of lakes at the centre, mostly brine. Walked northwards. Lizards, reptiles, a rat-like creature. Returned to the ship after three days. The Southland hazy in the morning sun. Whereas the states of the Commonwealth, Western Australia alone it is unprovided to, to incorporate and endow a universal yes, Therefore enacted by the King's most excellent majesty. That is power. the standard I raise. Higher education as well as primary for the sons of the people. Free to all in the state who are entitled to it. Yeah. Yeah. There shall be from henceforth and forever in the state of Western Australia a university to be called the University of Western Australia. <laughs> now, where shall we put it? At last, the new university has opened its doors in a small building facing St George's Terrace on the corner of Irwin Street. Some sheds have been brought down in sections from the Gold Hill by train. Soon, a clutter of temporary buildings of corrugated iron and weatherboard covers the Irwin Street site. Students are calling it Tin Pot Alley. When I arrived in Rome, after the school day finished at 3.30, I had to step across the veranda on the joists, as the floorboards had not been laid. A pleasant and helpful clerk assisted my enrollment. Imagine my surprise when I attended my first English lecture and later to find that he was the professor of English, Walter Murdoch. Which one building was the whole university for the first few years? Years which were difficult financially, with the state's resources strained by the war and the 1914 drought? I was there when Professor Ross gave the first lecture on mathematics on the 31st of March, 1913. And I remember Professor Ross and his Scottish bride were married a month later in the physics and maths room, and the reception was held in the laboratory. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to study the sedentaries. Now, that group, you may not know by that name, are you asleep, Mr. Hector? I'm sorry for having sent you to sleep. No, sir. Although my eyes were closed, I have been listening. Ah, it is an achievement you share with the Premier. I can't wait to get out and go on a field trip. We're going to Mundaring Weir. We went to the hills near John Forrest National Park for hours last year. What wonderful! Some were surprised that people sent their daughters to uni. Yet we had quite a lot of women in 1917. Presents grant and demise under the unit of the term of 999 years, yielding and paying therefore to us, salaries and successors, one peppercorn of yearly rent on the 25th day of March in every year. The competition announced in 1914 for the design of the future Crawley site has attracted 26 entries. The Chancellor's Prize for the design of the Crawley campus will go to Man of Ideas, Harold Desborough Anir. The first designs were drawn up during the 1920s, but that was only the beginning. Since then, the campus has continued to evolve and grow more beautiful every year.
considering the importance of fine buildings in the education and refinement of the citizens of a state, I direct that this sum shall be expended by the Senate in the erection of a university hall. And as I desire to have my name associated with it, I suggest to the Senate that it be called the Winthrop Hall. The design for Winthrop Hall shall be selected after open competition, invited from Australasia, Britain, America, and South Africa. Suggest the architecture of Italy, where the sun... It is a harmonious group of buildings, without focusing on any particular historical style, yet incorporating the best ideas from widely different sources. Binding together the wall spaces between...